Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? This is Mike. I uh, just wanted to show you a quick little trick on how to better use Inventory Lab, uh, especially when you're doing uh, type-ins, books that have no ISBN. So, I'm going to show you a book right here. This is a hardcover. I typed it in on Inventory Lab, and these are the uh, best matches that come up. And if you were just to assume that the uh, second one was the correct one, based on the picture, you'd be uh, attempting to list a book that's close to 5 million in rank. So I think most people would shy away from that. The first one has a way better rank, but doesn't look like the correct book. Let's click on the link, go to the Amazon page and see what's up. So clearly this is not the right book. This is a paperback. But if we click on hardcover, now the picture matches the one that we have. And if we scroll down to the product detail page, we'll see that this is indeed the correct book. And we notice something else. The sales rank is much better. So let's investigate this one a little bit. Copy the ASIN, go back to Inventory Lab, and this is the actual book right here, so I'll just click on Edit. So this book, 2.4 million, and these are the different sellers that we have right here. There's no FBA, so I'm gonna list this book for 25 bucks. So if we just assumed that whatever inventory lab was showing on the first page was everything, we would have missed an opportunity for most people. I bought this for four cents, so chance to make 15 bucks and uh, a 36,000 ROI. So not bad, you don't wanna miss those. So help, hope this helped somebody, this is my first video. Like it, share it, and uh, comment. Thanks guys, have a great night.